Welcome back guys, it's Kids Code and Playground here. And today we're back for another video. Well, this is actually part two of the video of Tower Smasher. So I'm just gonna go rename the title first. If you haven't watched um, a part one, please watch that right now. And in part one, we did all of this code. So this calls this, and this calls this, and this makes all the clones. So, so I'm gonna move on to the ball. We haven't even worked on the ball yet. We have to make a new block. Move ball to start. And another block, move ball. So move ball to start is to move the ball over here and move ball is to actually move it. So let's do a go to. Let's do a go to, um, we have to go to around here. I think this would work. Maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, like this much higher. So I'm just gonna go delete this. I think this is close enough. Uh, maybe a little bit over here, actually. Maybe. Okay, so we have this. We can set the ball to 50% so it's not that big. So it's not that cheap. And it won't like hit everything at once. Well, if you want it to be cheap, you can do it. But, and we also have to set H speed, horizontal speed to zero. And we can duplicate that, oopsies. Duplicate that. And change this to V speed, vertical speed. And then we can also broadcast. New message, get ready. So when I define move ball, I'll change the X. You also need to change X and Y. Change x by each speed, because it's horizontal speed, and change y by v speed, that's vertical speed. I'll change the v speed to, you need a multiply sign, to 0.99 h speed. So it'll also set H speed. I'm sorry, that's actually right here on B speed, H speed. So I'm gonna just turn this to H speed, move this back. It's H gap, H speed, 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 right there. And then uh, V speed is on top. We can put that on top if you want to. V speed is negative 0 0.2. If then touching the color, see if that's actually the right color. Let's just go take the brown color because it's the same color. Just a little bit different. Um, it'll set the V speed to multiply sign negative 0 0.8 v-speed. So this h-speed and v-speed, so I did something wrong right here. It's actually backwards. It's actually set H speed is actually change. It's actually change V speed. And this one's actually set V speed. So let's just take this out so that we can save it. Set V speed. It's 
It's actually ne negative 0 0.2, what I did earlier. So this is supposed to make, like when you launch, it's gonna be really quick, and then it's gonna fall down gradually and get slower. So this is supposed to be H speed. Okay, let's move on. So we're still working on the ball, we can minimize one. Not minimize, make it smaller. So why not, when the green flag is clicked, we'll set the score to zero, it's simple enough. Now will set launches to 20, so you only get 20 launches before you lose. 20 launches. It'll move ball to start. Like, it runs this code. And then when I receive complete game, it'll say, you have to take this one, not say for two seconds, because it might be a really big number. So it'll say join, because you'll join the two together. You score, gonna put a space. You score, uh, you score the amount that you scored. So you gotta put a score. So this will make it, so it won't go away. Like if you put two, two seconds, that means it'll go away in two seconds. So let's move on to if you lose. So, when the green flag is clicked, it will go forever. And if then loop, the launches equals, you don't need greater than or less than because it takes like a time for it to launch again. So at zero launches, then it'll stop all. You need forever loop, remember that. So it'll keep on going. Or else in the beginning, it'll just stop. Not really stop, but it'll just do it once. So then we also have to work on the arrow. We can minimize this one so you can see all this code. Um, if if you miss some code, you can be sure to pause the video. And let's work on the arrow. It's the arrow. When the green flag is clicked, you need the pen. It's inside this a block thing that you can pick. I already have pen already set up. And then it'll set the pen color to any color you want. I'm gonna use yellow. And then it'll set pen size to 15. It's pretty thick. And then it'll show, go forever. Or rest, re erase everything. And it'll go to X, this thing. So you have to use the backdrop of stage, actually two of them. And then you always have to change the back first. So you can put ball, it'll go X position of the ball. And all, you also need this ball, but you need the Y position because it's in the Y section. I'll go to mouse pointer. We'll point towards ball. What is that? Point towards ball. It'll turn a full 180 degrees. And then when this sprite is clicked, it will broadcast fire. New broadcast message. It will show, hide, pen up, and then when I receive get ready, show, and pen down. So let's try it out. So you can see, look, there's like a little thing. It doesn't launch yet. We're not done with the code yet but we can move on to another for the ball. Ball has another chunk of code. So when I receive fire, because that's what got from the arrow, I'll reset the timer. So reset timer, you have change, 
launches by minus negative one. We'll also set. I'll tell you what the reset timer is for later, but now let's focus on this. Set h gap to need two minus actually, but actually one for the other one. So that one minus it's minus mouse x. I also need a mouse y for the next one. Mouse x and mouse x position minus x position. And I can just duplicate this, I guess. Yes, that could work. V gap instead. And then mouse Y instead. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't really need this. And then go to this and take Y position instead of X position. The gap is to define the where the your mouse is and the ball is. So we also let's just keep on moving on. A set H speed to divide H gap is to figure how much H gap and 30. So we can just duplicate this. It's really easy. But instead change this to V speed and change this to V gap by 30 again. So this is for like a decent pace. But if you want to make this like 20 and this 20, that means this will go uh, 20, it'll go quicker. And if you make it like a larger number, it'll go, um, it'll go slower. So let's keep on continuing. Repeat until you need a greater than. You also need an or, put this inside, five seconds, and put timer. So the timer is for, it'll go until five seconds, it'll keep on moving until five seconds, or it's touching the edge, it'll automatically go. If it's touching the edge, it'll automatically go, it'll move the ball. So the timer is for so we have to put the move ball to start afterwards. So if it's if the timer is greater than five, it'll go back to the start. Or if it's touching the edge, it'll go back to the start. Or else it'll just keep on moving. Let's first remove all the variables. Bam, 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 bam. Except score, we can keep that one. You can see our score, we can move it more up. So as you can see, the timer actually works like one, two, three, four, five or it might count longer and they'll go back there. Or if it's touching the edge, it'll go. And you can also hit these things. And you'll also get your score. I, I wasted two launches earlier. So I can also show you what happens when you lose. So we can set these launches to two, let's say about two. So that's gonna be one. And look, uh, last launch, it runs out. So you ran, I ran out of launches. Let's change it back to 20. So this is the end of our project. So I'm gonna demo it one more time before I go. Let me add the music first. I'm going to add the music. So forever. Well, that's really big. So I already have a sound. You can take any sound from the sound library. I'm gonna upload a sound. This song. You can totally play this. And I'm gonna go take a sound, play sound, glitch in a ride until done. That's the song I've been using. So anyways, I'm gonna go try it again. I'm just gonna keep on doing it until I like get in school. You can skip this part if you want, it's just play. So I'm just gonna play. As you can see, five seconds. The five 
five seconds as you can see um i'm about to hit all of these i think i'm about to lose actually i'm really bad at this game so i'm just gonna keep on launching until i win Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please comment in the comment section below to see uh, what videos we're gonna come next. And be sure to smash that like. Please share to your friends and everyone you know, cause to support our channel. And if you did, thank you.